Hi, and welcome to the second clip, quickie clip, of uh, the Hovercraft project. I've actually been filming a bunch of this, including the processes that I've come up with to figure all of this out, so there will be a full detailed video on this later, but there's been a lot of interest, and I've been kind of enjoying it, and it's nice to get some content out to, to at least show you what I've been up to. So... This skirt is completely different than the one you saw in the last video. This is actually two pieces of shower curtain that are seamed together in the middle. So I cut out the shape for the top, cut out the shape for the bottom, and I used a hair straightener to actually seal them together. Where did I, where did I put that thing? Uh... uh Oh, I lost the hair straightener. Oh, here it is. This, uh, see, it's even a uh, Vidal Sassoon with uh, infinitely variable temperature adjustment. And I got it for two whole dollars. Worked out good. Uh, ooh, OS2 Warp. That's going to be in a video coming up. That's a, a hint to an awesome, awesome thing. Vintage computer thing. Anyway, so I got this sitting here. It's, it's plugged in. And I wanted to show you just how awesome this is. So here we go. I'm going to bring it up to idle. You can see it'll actually inflate the skirt a little bit on the minimum. Does it float? Not really. Now I've learned that there's such a thing as too much air pressure in the skirt and it'll actually increase drag. So one of the things about this is that there's a balance. So if I go to the minimum balance, which is about there, which is barely idle, now it'll, now it'll go. Right? We can go a little bit more. See, it floats around, no problem. Now, here's where it gets interesting. Here is where it gets interesting. Uh, let's see. 45 pounds or 20 kilograms. Oh, damn it, door. Sorry. I am recording this with my phone. All right, I'm going to set you all down for a second. I'm going to set this on here. Hopefully that's pretty well balanced. All right, so there's 45 pounds. All right, you ready? Like a bow. Let's go get another one. Uh, let's see. We'll go 25 more. See what happens. I haven't put this much weight on it. Oh. Well, once the weight shifted and it came off balance, it uh, kind of bowled over, but I mean, as you can see, it really, it really doesn't care too much. Now, let me put that back where it was, about there, okay.
So as you can see, this thing is really not gonna care how much weight's on it. Balance is important though. So anyways, the uh, next phase of this is to get the thrusters mounted, which is two more of these computer fans. This is what they look like. They're aluminum, right? And they're brushless. There you go. The, these fans in the computer draw, I think it was 16 and a half amps at 12 volts. I'm running a 4S LiPo and the motor controller gets pretty warm. So what I'm actually gonna do is mount it inside here so it's in, direct, in the direct path of air. But yeah. This is a this is going to be really fun. So anyways, I hope you all enjoy. That's a quick look at the hovercraft. Uh oh, the joystick's not here. I actually got a Logitech uh joystick that I'm going to rig up and fly it with. As you can see, I got an Arduino here, and then I got an NRF2401 wireless module here. So I'm going to build my own transceiver, and that's so I can pass telemetry data back. So I'm going to be able to read the battery voltage. I like to do things like GPS and stuff, because what I really want to do with this is make it autonomous. If I can, par if I can carry 45 pounds, imagine all the batteries I can stuff in that compartment. It'd be kind of fun to make long distance journeys in this thing, uh, over in the Catawba River or something. So, um, I mean, if it goes this well, I mean, this is carpet. So if it goes this well across carpet, uh, it's definitely not going to have a problem going across water or or anything else really. It like runs over the extension cord and doesn't get hung up and all that. So uh, yeah, it's it's working great. And and the key to actually making this really float was I didn't have enough holes in the in the bottom. If you look underneath this here. Uh, I've got 10 2-inch holes now that the air actually gets kicked out of. So there's a slot all the way around this that inflates the skirt first. And then once the skirt's full and the air has nowhere else to go, it comes out these holes, creates the cushion of air underneath, and then pushes it out, and that's how she floats. So, anyways, I hope you all enjoy. Stay tuned. Catch you later.